Today I am here to talk about my great great grandpa, Paul Benedict Van Kuchern. He was born on March the 28th, 1918, in Brookville, Missouri. He was in World War One and World War Two in the Navy. He served he served in Pacific and South America. His rank was petty ch chief petty officer in the boiler room. He passed each exam and moved up to the chief petty officer in only nine years. Compared to most, it took 10 to 15 years. As you can see in this picture, you can see him and his brothers and all his sisters all going to the Navy and serving. I asked my grandpa if he was drafted or did he enlist. He said I enlisted on my own because everyone else was enlisting at the time, including all my siblings. So I went ahead and did the same thing. I boarded the Louisville ship for six and a half years. I asked him why Navy? He said the Navy seemed to be the best. You had a bunk bed every night, you were warm, the food was okay, and you didn't have to be on land where guns were flying by your head all the time. I asked him, did you have to go to boot camp? He said, yes. Boot camp was very hard and I didn't enjoy it at all. I tried to get through it as successfully as possible. I knew the faster I got through it, the quicker I get done with it altogether. I asked him, did you see any combat? He said, yes, we had many close calls out in sea. One day I was down below the deck in the boiler room and heard a very loud boom. I went upstairs to find out what it was and we didn't, we've been hit with our torpedo. Lucky for us, it was a dud. Another time we did actually get hit again out in the sea and a hole was put in the side of the ship and the ocean started flowing in, flowing down below. We were able to contain it through and no one got hurt. Thankfully another time was a guy on deck and he shot for fire and he ducked just in time before his head got blown off. I asked my grandpa how did he stay in touch with all of his family. He said, mostly by letters. All my brothers and sisters were enlisted as well in different units. So we all write letters just to pass them on to each other so we all know how each other are doing. However, you could never tell them what you were doing or what you were assigned to. Your letter would get thrown away, basically. I remember one time my mom, Emma Van Kutren, was being interviewed on KSTAR Star Radio. It was arranged for my grandpa to be on air so he can hear his mother's voice. I asked him another sort of weird question. How did you contain yourselves at the sea? He said, we played cards and all that stuff. We also created a quarters court singing group. There was a thing about it was it was my brother Vincent and John. Vincent was a teener and Paul was a second teener, Turner. And I was the bass. And we heard us singing one day in the mass hall, and he said we're stupid idiots for joining the Navy when he could had a beautiful voice like this. When they found out we were brothers, though, they separated us off to the other assignments as a protection to our family. Our mother not, our mother not to possibly lose us all at once. I asked him, was there any entertainers during your service? He said yes. Bobby Hope and Paul. Murray came to entertain us all on our board on our ship. After the war, I asked my grandpa, did you make any close friendships while in the service? He said, yes, my best friend, Lyman Gleason. We sang together with my brothers a lot in the mess hall. We ended up being great friends. I asked him, did you join a veterans organization? He said, yes, a veterans of foreign war. It was just like a regular club helped with charity causes and went to we went to high school giving speeches on the navy life however i didn't always like going like doing that speeches because i felt as i was pursuing high schoolers to join the navy i felt it was a very personal choice and shouldn't be pushed i asked grandpa would he like to share anything else about this interview that I'm doing about him? He said yes. My parents were also very big in this era. My dad, Leo Mary Van Kutren, worked as a Stephens Motel where he created many war bonds windows displays. My mother also was awarded the New York Mother of the Year for offering all of her 12 children into the war at the time. She was a great figure for the war by selling many bonds, singing at funeral, raising events, and throwing many rally, uh, rallies. 
There was nine brothers and three sisters all enlisted at the same time. That was considered to be very honorable. The Van Cutren family was known as American's best uh, war parents. They were in the paper often and also received compliment letters from the President Roosevelt, his wife, and the letter President Ronald Reagan for all of their efforts in the war. Paul Van Cutren is now 93 years old and lives in Carmichael, California near Sacramento at El Camino Gardens Assisted Living. He has three daughters, Rita, Adine, Jeanette. He has three grandkids, Ruth, Sarah, and Jess. He has three great-great-grandkids, Dustin, Cody, Anthony. His wife has now passed away, but she was a beautiful, loving, and supportive wife of 62 years named Josephine Van Cutren. My grandpa lived a great life full of family love and wouldn't trade anything for them.